I'm Joe Wos. I am a cartoonist. I have a syndicated feature called Maze Tunes that appears in newspapers all over the country. Uh, I also have a series of best-selling Maze books, including my latest book, which is called Amazing Peanuts. Yeah, and it's Snoopy and the whole gang. That was a lot of fun to work with. I also draw uh, this guy right here. Charlie the Tuna for Starkist, uh, which is another fun project I had to do. So uh, I get to draw Charlie for uh, various projects. And I am the host of Cartoon Academy on PBS. And today we are going to be visiting Under the Sea to learn how to draw some cartoon Under the Sea creatures. Well, we're going to switch over to uh, my... Uh, tablet. I draw on a computer tablet called a Wacom Cintiq. It's a big computer tablet. And I actually draw on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen so that you're able to follow along. Now at home, you can draw on a paper. Uh, you're going to need, oh, probably about four or five sheets of paper, probably. Uh, you'll just need something to draw with, a marker, a crayon, a pencil, whatever you like. Or if you draw on your iPad and you have an eye pencil, you can use that too whatever you like to draw on. So I'll give you a second or two to get the supplies you need, something to draw on, something to draw with. And then last and most important, you're going to need your imagination. And I'm sure you brought that along with you today. All right. So let's get ready to travel under the sea for an ocean of possibilities. All right. We're going to start with a shark. So right towards the top middle of our page, we're going to start with the brow above the eye. They come out, around, and back in. Get a little line here for the crease. Off the eyeball, we're going to come down and up, a letter U shape. Good. And then we add in the pupil. Right next to this, we're going to add the other eye. We come around for the brow. And then down, in, and connect for the other eye. And then the pupil. Good job. Next, we're going to add the snout. Starting from the base of the eye, we're going to come out, point, and then back, in, and up. And add a little dash right here. One more dash for the corner of the mouth. Very nice. Two little lines there on the snout. All right, now for the dorsal fin, we're going to come up, point, down, and in. Good job. Starting right from the middle of the top of the fin, come down. And connect the brow. That adds a little bit of depth and dimension. Now for the lower part of the mouth. Point down and down again. Now we're going to add a fin. It's just the letter V. Put the letter V right next to it. Over and up. And starting from the fin, down, and up slightly at the end. Now for the tail fin. Up. Letter C backwards, and back in, and connect. Very good. One, two, three. 
Those are our gills. All right, here we go. Next, the teeth, letter W. Letter W, letter W. That's it, very good. Nicely done, that's a good looking shark. I think we need to give our shark a, a little friend. Well, maybe not a friend, but, um, oh, perhaps someone who's a little bit threatened by that shark. Where is of the eyes, it's a letter O. And the second I is going to be the letter C. Very nice. Now, pupils, one and two. Excellent job. Now for the mouth to come down. And what we're going to do is we're going to add sort of a, a letter C shape. Letter C backwards. Down and in. And let's go down here for the back. Add a fin, letter W, up. Another fin right here, letter W. And now the tail fins up, around, down, around, and up. We have the interior or the inside of the mouth. He's a big screamy. He's a little bit afraid. Make that tongue sticking out. Oh, line right. Uh, we're going to line right down the middle of the tongue there. Now for the interior, the inside, we have a little line that's going to come from the top to the top of the tongue. Bottom of the tongue to the base of the mouth. Then we just want to color that all in. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right, added some eyebrows. Excellent. And oh, I think we need some gills here. One, two. Looks like a number 11. Show it's underwater. We'll just add a little couple air bubbles here. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There's your shark and his fishy friend, too. Wow, great job. Fantastic work, everybody. You are doing great. All right, now let's move on to our next one. You want to grab a blank piece of paper. We're going to head a little bit deeper under the sea to meet an octopus. Now remember, octo means eight, so we want to make sure we give it eight legs. But we're going to start off with the face. One two, three lines across, four, there we go, doesn't matter how many, three or four, and then down and up, letter U, down and up, letter U, we're starting with the eyes, add the pupils in, let's see, one and two, and I don't want them to be too gr grumpy, we'll give them a smile, there we go, come on, over and up, down around, Connect. Looks kind of like a hot dog, doesn't it? We're going to add a little tongue inside that mouth. And then we just want to color it all in. Here we go. Color it in. Yeah. Whatever you want to use. You can use crayons or markers or your pencil, whatever you want. Color that all the way in. Good. Excellent. Oh, let's see here. Let's add just a, a little bit more and then a dash underneath for the lower lip. Now we're going to add the head and body, which is all one piece. We start about here, come up, around, and down, and in. Now that's going to turn right into our first leg right here. We come down, out, point, up, and in. There we go. That's one, down, and up, two, down, point, up and in, three, down and out, point up, four, down, point, and back in, five, out, point in, six, down, point up, and seven, down, point out, and that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Now we're going to add a, a little bit of an underside to each of these legs. Uh, it's going to look a little weird at first, just draw a line down. And it's not on all the legs, just a few of them. Good. And maybe one more. There we go. And then we're going to add the little suction cups on the underside. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter how I'm any, whatever looks right to you. All right, that's our octopus. Not bad, looks pretty good. I think we need to give him a friend. We're going to give him a blob fish friend. Blob fish is a lot of fun to draw. Start with the nose, line across, pupil. Pupil, real easy. Come up, around and down. There's a fin, tail fin. Over and connect. Pretty simple and cute. Oh, I don't know. I think we should give him another friend too. Let's do him a puffer fish. So circle, let her see it backwards. Pupil, pupil. Uh, little puffy cheeks. Let her see, let her see. Connect those with a line, a little dash underneath. And then sort of a zigzaggy circle the whole way around. Uh, very good. And well, maybe right about here at a fin, up around. Let's see, maybe another fin here, and then, of course, the tail fins, and what else we need? Oh, let's add a little bit of texture. Good, and not bad, eyebrows. Ah, very good. Excellent job. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. Good job. There is your octopus. Wow, nicely, nicely done. All right, we're ready for our next one. Uh, blank piece of paper, everyone. This is a fun one. We're going to draw a seahorse, a seahorse, and we're also going to draw a jellyfish. So two drawings on one page, a seahorse and a jellyfish. Here we go. Blank piece of paper. And let's begin. As always, well, most of the time I start with the eyes. Oval, or letter O shape, and then a letter C backwards. Period here, and a period here. Very good. Line out, down, up, around, and a little cheek right here. All right, now for the lower part of the mouth, we do sort of a letter V shape. And we're gonna follow that with another letter V and come up and around. Good, now right here, come down, around. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going up, around. Come back, follow it. Get a little bit wider, a little bit wider coming up. Come in a little bit wider and more narrow to the neck. Wow, that was a lot. And then around for the head. That was a lot of drawing right there. Now we're gonna add, oh, let's see. We need to add some eyebrows, I think. Up, down, and shade those in real quick. Just fill them in real quickly. Good job. Color in the mouth too while we're at it. And then let's add the underbelly. Down, and then a couple lines across. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, now now this back, he has sort of like these uh, like crenellations like a dragon has. Come up, down, and in. Up, down, and in. Up, down, and in. Up, down, in. Up, over, down. Up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, and down. Now I want to add a little curved line connecting all of those. 
We're just going to take our time and connect them all with just sort of a very simple curved line. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's see, nine. And then just connect the end there. Excellent. Very, very good. Oh, now we're going to give him a little jellyfish friend. So next is our little jellyfish. A little bit different. We don't have eyes for our jellyfish. We just do a line up and down and then across for the base. Real easy, real simple one. Tentacles down, around, and up, down, around, and up, down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. You can put any design you want to on this. Uh, I'm going to do a little zigzags, but you can put spots or stripes or checkers or anything you want. Remember, it's your drawing, not mine. Whatever looks good to you. Excellent job, everybody. Very good. Nicely done. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. Wow, great job. Really, really nice. That was a fun one. All right, next, blank piece of paper because we're going to draw a crab. Oh, don't worry. It's not a crabby crab, but we're going to make it a happy crab. Oval. Oval. Good. Line down. Line down. Line down. Line down, and then we're going to add just a little line here connecting the two. Let's go back and add the pupils. One, two. All right, now, the body shape is sort of like a taco. Yeah, it's like a taco shape, I think. And then... I'm going to add, uh, let's add the mouth in. It's uh, a very similar to shape. It's kind of a taco shape, too. Over, around, and back up. See a little bit of the tongue inside there. And then we just want to color that all in nice and neat. There we go. Color that in. Very, very good. Oh, good job. Excellent. All right. Let's see, next we have to add we'll add the legs, come down, point, and up. Down, point, and up. That's two. Down and up, three. Facing the other direction, four, five, and six. Now for the arms and the claws, we're going to start on the side, the left of the side. Uh, so it's sort of a letter L shape. We're going to draw sort of a, I guess we call it a letter L that has a little bit of a slant to it. So we come out from the side here. Yeah, right here. And then do that again. A little bit wider. There we go. Excellent. Same thing on the other side, but backwards in reverse. Now we're going to add the claws. We've got two of those. Up and around point. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down. Up, point, in. Same thing on the other side, in reverse. Zigzag, 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 up. And point and in. Good. Very, very good. Let's add a little bit of ground surface here. So he's on the ocean floor. There's some, some sand, maybe, and add a little texture to the sand. Quick little dots, that's all it is. I think we should add some coral to this. Uh, let's, let's add just a little bit of coral to add... A little bit of background, just a little blobby shape. We're gonna do two of those. Maybe we'll add some seaweed back here. There we go. That looks good. A little bit of texture on the coral too. Just quick little letter C's over and over backwards. Letter C. There we go. That creates a nice texture to that. Oh, I like it. That's a good looking crab. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. Great job on the crab, everybody. Wow. Fantastic. 
All right, I think we're ready for another one of our Under the Sea Creatures. Oh, we're going to have a whale of a good time with this one. We're going to draw a jolly looking whale. And we're going to start again. This time we're going to start with the eyes. One and two, two ovals. And then we want to add in our pupils. One and two. Good. Now for the top of the head, we come a little down, sorry for right about here. And in and stop and add a little. All right, line down for the mouth and just back in just a little bit. And then we're going to add the teeth. These very friendly, curved, rounded teeth. Let's bring that mouth in the rest of the way and then color that in. Very nice. Okay. Well done. Excellent. All right. Now for the rest of the body. Come in. Down. Add a fin right here. Just the letter V up and out. Now here we're going to leave a little gap. Come down and in and up. Let's add another fin right over here. Letter V. And let's add the tail fin here. Very good. Oh, little spot, a little hole here on the top. The to squirt out some water there. <laughs> good. Very nice. All right, let's see. What else do we need to add there? Well, I'm going to give him a little bit of a personality, I think. We're going to add a, a couple lines here. Oh, the underbelly here, a couple lines. Just building out the character with little details. Very good. You guys are doing great. You are doing fantastic. I feel like I'm forget. Oh, forgot the eyebrows. That's what I forgot. Add those eyebrows, and then we're gonna add a little bit of water surface here, so he's oh, just barely underwater. Very nice. Most important thing, as always, be sure to uh, sign your name. Take pride in your work. Good job. That's your whale. Well, I think we have time for one more. Um, we're going to make it a quick one. It's a fun one, though. It is a seagull. So a blank piece of paper. And let's begin. This time we're starting with the head shape rather than the eye. So... We're going to just draw, oh, it's going to be a line to go straight up. Okay, so let's draw a line up and then over and then down, sort of a square shape. All right, now we're going to add uh, the beak. Uh, let's see, we're going to add right about here, come out. And down and up with the letter V and in. Very good. Let's add the brow, it's just a line across the forehead. Right here, maybe two lines. And then pupils, just little dots like that. Good. Now for the wing. Out and in. Good. Now we can draw the body. Picking up off the head, down, over, up. And then, oh, let's see, a line up for the tail feathers. Add a W. And back down. Good. Now for the feet and legs. We're going to add a wing first over here. Sorry, forgot to add the wing. Now the feet and legs. Down, 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 down. And then the feet. Little flippers come around. Out. W on the side. And in. Same thing on this other side. Reverse around. Letter W or an M and N and oh, let's make him sort of standing on a maybe a rock or something. Yeah. Line down, line down, over, connect. Show a little bit of that water. There we go. Oh, I think there's another character over here. Let's add a fish. Poking his head out of the water, we draw the eyes, oval. And letter C. Period, period. Give them eyelids. 
Good. Now we're going to add the mouth. We're going to start up from the top of the corner bottom of the eye here. Come over. Up. A little crease in the mouth. See just a little bit of a lip here. Come out slightly. And then we're going to come down and in. Good. Down and in. Oh, I feel like maybe we need to see a little bit of a fin here. And here, just letter W. Add that water. And then, uh-oh, he's squirting some water at our little seagull friend. Splish splash, there we go. Good job. A couple gills. And then, let's see, eyebrows. Not bad, good job. Be sure to assign your name. Take pride in your work when you're all done. Good job, everybody, wow. That was a great drawing. Nicely done. I'm very proud of you. Excellent, excellent seagull and fish too. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to join you today. I hope you enjoyed our program as we visited the ocean. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again real soon. So stay tuned. And be sure and check out Cartoon Academy on PBS. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye, everybody. That's an ocean wave. No matter your age, no matter your skill, cartooning can be easy and fun. We'll show you Toon Basics with simple, easy to follow drawing lessons. I'm Joe Wos, inviting you to grab a pencil and paper and join me for Cartoon Academy. Learn more at wqed.org slash cartoonacademy.